If you are looking for more lesson ideas how to code with the help of a chatbot, it seems that it knows how to code in almost every programming language humans ever created. In this video, we'll make some interactive graphics with it. Activity number two, let's try something a bit different, uh, creating some interactive visual designs in P5.js. P5.js is a framework to create uh, multimedia applications within web browser. It's a sister project of uh, processing programming language and uh, we can use it online on a website uh, p5.js.org and here we have a button start creating with p5 editor which opens the online editor for us. We can paste the code here and on the right, we see the output of our code. And uh, my example for this uh, basic activity is to generate code that would uh, perform some kind of a drawing with a spray uh, effect. So let's do it in uh, some basic steps. Generate p5.js uh, code for drawing a line with a mouse. So our first step is just to uh, detect the movement of a mouse cursor and draw a line on the screen with it. Sure, here's a simple P5.js code snippet. So another fantastic uh, thing for coding with chatbots is that they are not limited to any specific coding language or uh, activity. We can uh, do very different things with it. And here we have our first snippet of uh, P5.js code. Let's see if it works. I copy it to clipboard and paste it here to the editor. I click play to run the, the code. There is no error. And now in the preview, when I push the button, you see, I can draw a line with my mouse. So simple, simple paint activity. Great. Uh, let's add something more. Mm, make the line thick, thicker and, and change its color as a rainbow. Okay. I have the code. Let's try it. And yes, it works. The line is thicker. Uh, I didn't specify how thick it should be, so he decided himself. And it changes smoothly the color in all shades of red, green and blue. Great. So now I would like to achieve, achieve my spray effect. And what is interesting here is that this is an open problem. We could solve it in a few different ways and the chatbot has to decide on his own how he will apply his solution for it. But we, we just want to see the uh, spray effect. We don't, we don't care how you do it. So let's get it. Let's, do it. Let's, let's try something very simple. Make it look like a spray effect. Again, absolutely no technical details, only common, uh, common concept, spray effect. Sure, no problem. I have the code. Let's copy it. And testing. And yes, it looks like spray. It's very thin, very light, but when I, when I hold the mouse button, it looks like a sprain in Microsoft Paint. Mm, let's give it some more uh, adjustments. Make the spray thicker and faster. Because it's, it's, now it works very slowly. Also, add a function to clear the screen when I press spacebar bar key. When I praise, there's no such word as praise. Uh, let's see if he, he will work around my typos again. And yes, he understood it. Pressing the spacebar will clear the screen. So coding with chatbot is a 
completely opposite than uh, regular co coding when where you have to be very precise no typos no missing semicolons no missing brackets everything thing has to be a letter to letter correct here you can literally write with garbage language and he will understand this okay i don't need your comments i only need the code copy it And let's check it. Yes, the spray is thicker, it works faster, and when I press the space bar, everything disappears. Just like I want it. So as you can see, if in few lines of chat, I was able, with the help of a chatbot, to generate quite complex uh, program that generates visual effect, uh, just like in paint application, to, to paint with spray. And whatever would be your idea, you most probably would be able to create it too.